With over a billion users, it's no secret that TikTok is taking hold of short form video content. Now, many marketers and social media managers are taking advantage of this platform to grow their accounts. And while we're on the topic of growth, tracking that growth is equally as important. But how can you track insights on TikTok? Today, I'm gonna to show you essential metrics that aren't even available on TikTok yet, but are on Metricool. And it's gonna be a game changer, I promise. Hi, Metricoolers. My name is Anna Stan, and I am part of the team here at Metricool. In today's video, I'm gonna dive deep into metrics such as impressions, demographics, video views, and even in more in-depth insights such as source of views so you can grow faster on TikTok. I will explain how to find them and what these numbers mean. Sounds good? Let's do it. First, I'll explain how to look at your TikTok analytics directly from the platform. Before we dive into the stats, let me tell you how you can access your TikTok analytics. In order to have these insights, you must have a business account. And if you don't have one already, don't worry, it's super easy and free. First, open up the app and head to your profile page, click on the three lines in the top right corner and go to settings and privacy. Tap account and inside here, you will see an option for switch to business account. You will then be able to choose a category that best fits your content. After choosing that, you can add your business website and email and voila your page analytics will be unlocked now that you've unlocked the analytics when you click on the three lines in the top right corner you will see a new tab titled creator tools and from here you will see an analytics tab at the top so what numbers will you see inside the app let me tell you the app breaks down numbers into four categories overview content followers and live in the overview section, you will see analytics from a date range, customize the dates or choose from the last seven, 28 or 60 days. Then you will see key metrics, including video views, profile views, likes and comments. When clicking on each one, a graph comparing these numbers and date will appear where you can tap through the specific data for each day. When going to the content section, you will see your latest post as well as your most popular videos with the date range selected. When clicking on individual videos, you will see insights such as views, likes, comments, shares, and saves. Also, more in-depth information will be added below, such as total playtime, average watch time, new followers, and the traffic sources. The followers tab will show your total number of followers at the time with graphs and tables below showing your new followers, growth rate, demographics, and follower activity. The follower activity is important because it shows when your followers have been most active according to the hour or day. And if you're a creator that hosts lives on your page, this tab will display your live videos, how much time you spent live, and how many diamonds you've earned. Now that you've seen your analytics from TikTok, I'm gonna show you how you can view your TikTok insights from the Swiss army knife of social media, Metricool. But first things first, if you don't have a Metricool account, Go to metricool.com right now and sign up. It's easy and completely free. Once you have an account, make sure you've connected that account with Metricool. Same as the app, you will need a business account. Now that you have everything ready, you will be able to see all your analytics across all social platforms inside the analytics tabs. Icons of each social media platform will appear and you can simply click on the TikTok icon to access your account insights in a clear and intuitive way. It's super easy, just go to connections, TikTok, business account, and follow the instructions. The analytics are separated into five categories, community, demographics, account, videos, and list of videos. You can view insights from the last week, the current month, the last 30 days, the previous month, or the last three months. Inside the community section, your growth and account followers will appear with graphs representing your progression over time. Demographics will organize your followers by gender and country. Inside the account section, profile views and video views will appear in a graph. Lastly, the video section will include a summary of your page with engagement, interaction, average reach per post, video views, and the number of videos posted. Below, a breakdown of the interaction will appear in a graph and a list of videos will show stats of each post. Unlike TikTok, within Metricool, you can see all the metrics at once without needing to tap into each video to check analytics. Also, within the video section, you will see an impression sources broken into six sections where you can access videos on TikTok. Only three of the following metrics are included in the TikTok app analytics, but with Metricool, you can analyze all the essential metrics. In the TikTok app, 
You can check where views originated from, either from the For You page, from the follower feed, and those visits to your videos that originated from your profile page. But with Metricool, you can go beyond. You can check views originated from a hashtag or a sound, that is, those views who have reached your videos through a hashtag or a sound search. Statistics may indicate that a certain sound or hashtag has not brought us visits. Does this mean that it's poorly chosen or that I should not have put it? No, because the TikTok algorithm uses them to recommend our content. The use of this hashtag or sound contributes to our video appearing for the For You page for other users. But the more data we have, the better. Also from Metricool, you can check the amount of views originated from searches on the Discover page. This is super cool because it can help us to improve our SEO on TikTok. By the way, if you want us to do a deeper dive into SEO on TikTok, let us know in the comments. Now that you know how to find these analytics and the included sections, why are these important? Let me tell you, your followers alone won't tell you how to better your account. So use these numbers to see what has worked and what hasn't as assistance. So when you go to create new content, who knows, by constantly improving your content, you may even go viral. You never need to go blind in creating content again. With both TikTok analytics, from the app and with Metricool, you'll be able to say goodbye with the old and hello to the new. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more news and advice on social media. Until the next video, Metricooler.